prequel to Oz. Okay. A prequel to Oz. The witches of Oz discovered the portal between their world and ours. And so they sent their flying monkeys through the portal. And through the eyes of their monkeys, they could see the earth, this wondrous planet that was just beyond the rainbow. But on the monkey's return through the portal, something went wrong and the monkeys were lost. Separated from the witches whom they served, they did not know what to do. So undeterred, the mother of the four sisters, the Queen Witch of Oz herself, Serena, led an army of ships filled with 10,000 witches to conquer this new world. But their ships were made of witchwood, and they quickly discovered that the flying properties of witchwood vanished when they emerged through the portal. So their great armada fell from the sky and landed in the middle of a battlefield in America's Civil War. Being fired upon from both sides, the witches, with their dead and dying, had to fight their way to safety. Um, thousands of witches survived, and they followed their mother, witch, to the mystic mountain of West Virginia. And soon after the witches left their ship, their ships, which were made of witchwood, began to spontaneously combust. And reports from both sides of ships falling from the sky and women emerging from them firing weapons, firing sound weapons and lightning bolts were treated as battle madness and dismissed. The witches began calling to and searching for their army of flying monkeys that had been lost in the first incursion. And soon women, earth women carrying the tattoo of the flying monkeys began showing up at the witches' camp in West Virginia. It seems that on this side of the portal, it's not a fixed point in space or time, so its location jumps, stranding the flying monkeys on Earth. So they descended down onto the settlement of Salem, Mass, where they melded with humans, and have been melding with human hosts ever since. For even though only a, only a, a, a few weeks passed between when the monkeys went through in Oz to the Earth and when the Amada followed it, on Earth it had been uh, well, nearly 200 years, serving the human host while they waited for the arrival of the witch Amada. Nancy Smith, one of the Earth witches, had a flying monkey tattoo with only one and a half wings. Half of its wing had been caught by the collapsing portal, and it disappeared along with the portal. And now, it, now, now the flying monkey felt a pull towards its missing wing, as micro-portals would occasionally appear and disappear, always thousands of feet up in the air, with no re way to reach the portals. The witches decided that they would have to wait until the science of this world gave them a way to get to to reach the, uh, to get back to Oz to reach those portals high in the air. So they began to plan and wait for a more stable portal to appear. In order to build up her forces against the attack that she was sure would come, Selena was making new witches every day. Which witches body temperatures run much higher than humans' body temperature. So it requires a steady stream of people in the pot in order to keep witches from aging. Witches don't eat people as much as they absorb their essence. They gather round the pot and breathe in um, uh, their essence. So Selena was sending her scouts out further and further afield in order to replenish her stock of humans. All of the men and boys they captured went straight into the pot while the girls, well, while the women and girls were given the choice of either going in the pot or becoming witches, and in over a thousand raids, they had yet to find the first woman to choose the pot. In one raid, they captured everyone on the farm, except for the beekeeper's daughter Tetley, and from her vantage point in hiding, just as she was about to be captured, she saw one of the witches get stung by a bee 
and the witch puffed up like a bag of slime and burst, sending slime everywhere. And seeing this, Tetley jumped out from her hiding plate and, and disturbed the bees even more and sent them into a flying mad tizzy, stinging witches to the left and right and killing them all. She had saved her family, and humanity finally had a weapon to use against the witches. Um, the family brought Tetley with this new knowledge to Washington, D.C., and uh, Abraham Lincoln himself gave Tetley a medal and her family a reward for this great discovery, a weapon that could be used against the witches. But he told them that if word about the witches ever got out, it would cause such a panic uh, that all might be lost, so he swore them to silence. And that's uh, the prequel to Oz. Thank you very much for listening. And then there's a tiny little paragraph here about a future story. The first attempt to return the Amada to Oz ended in failure as a tornado scattered their balloon ships over Kansas when, surprisingly, an earth girl named Dorothy made it through in a house that had been lifted by the very same tornado that had scattered the witch Amada and thrown them and thrown the house through the portal. But that is another story for another day.